It's time to awaken. Hi, you boys and girls. Welcome to Zone TV. Guess what? We are one week closer to Summer X. I don't know about you, but I am so excited. And I hope to see each and every one of you detectives there. Now, I got this radio here, and I was just wondering, what's your favorite thing to listen to? I love this song! Hey! Whoa, 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 stop it! Who was listening to that? Okay, okay, seriously. Would you stop it? Are you even listening to me? Looks like I'm gonna have to find a new radio if I want to listen to some music. Now, I have a feeling Fitz is not the only one who struggles with following instructions. I think we're all a bit guilty of not listening and following instructions. Have you ever not picked up your toys after your parents asked you to? What about jumping on the furniture? Or running around the pool? Talking while the teacher's talking? Boys and girls, let's sit up straight and tall. We are asked to follow a lot of instructions. And yeah, sometimes it is hard, but that doesn't mean that it's not important to listen. You see, following instructions is super important to God. He talks about it a lot in the Bible. Let's see what he has to say. Those who learn from instruction and correction are on the right path of life, but those who ignore and refuse correction go off course. I don't know about you guys, but I sure don't want to get lost and end up on the wrong path. God's plan for our lives are not for disaster. It's to give us a hope and a future. How do I know that? It says so in our Bible table verse. Jeremiah 29 11, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. 